Man. 636. It is, of course, the perfect weekend escape, a day by the lake, casting for some fish. Well, one man is taking that perfect day one step further. He's fishing for 24 hours straight, all to benefit Fishing for Life, an organization that gets kids interested in fishing. And joining us this morning from Lake Minnetonka is professional fisherman Jeff Kolozinski. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's a really beautiful day here on Lake Minnetonka, and the fishing's really good. We've already caught a number of fish with the kids here, and I think I have uh, just over 30 fish here in about 15 minutes. Wow. wow. Yeah. And you're trying to you're trying to beat your own record of something ridiculous, like 1,500 fish caught in 24 hours. It's not quite 1,500, okay. but I really like your math. It's, oh, good. Uh, it's 1,100. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. I think we have a really good chance of breaking it today. The fishing's really good. Well, Jeff, Rena's known to be telling a few fish stories, but let's talk <laughs> about uh, the reason behind your event. Why the 24-hour fish marathon? What are you hoping to accomplish? You know, we're pulling resources to help our community. You know, the Fishing for Life organization is about raising funds and being an engine to help people in the inner city, help youth uh, in our cities here in the Minneapolis-St. Paul, and uh, design and fund after-school programs and all kinds of ministries here throughout the city. So the whole month of August, kids across the cities are catching fish and raising funds for people right in our community. You know, we did a story a little earlier on in the year with Fishing for Life uh, where they had people donating rods and reels and they refurbished them. Are, are those, uh, have they been distributed now and are these kids getting some of those rods and reels? They are. You're looking at those rods and reels in action right now. Those have been kind of uh, recycled rods and reels from people that have uh, donated them to our effort and uh, the kids are making lots of memories with them. Well, they, as we're watching right now, we're seeing the kids have pulled up at least three fish just in the short period of time that they've been, well, we've been watching. Who's keeping uh, track? Who's your official count keeper? Well, I pulled double duty here, but I have one of those little golf score counters that help me uh, remember all the fish that I caught throughout the 24 hours. So I'll have a record that way. Well, you know, fishermen are second only to golfers in their reliability when it comes to scoring. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but Jeff's a professional, so. And his math is clearly better than mine. So, it is. Jeff Kolozinski, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Fishing for Life going on at Lake Thanks. Minnetonka this weekend. Uh, Maynard's, near Maynard's. That's so absolutely right. Hey, Jeff, thank you very much. That sounds like a great way to spend a day. And do you see how many fish those kids caught just in a little bit of time we were watching? Well, now he little has like sunnies. 33. 33 fish he's got. Yeah. 1,100. It's been a fabulous uh, run of weather. It's expected.